Hi all, welcome to the session of SAP Basis Basic Radio. Uh, in this session, the objective is to uh, see how to create a transfer order uh, for an inbound delivery. Uh, we have already seen in earlier session how to create an inbound delivery for uh, how to create a transfer order for an inbound delivery uh, using LT0F. Now we would be seeing how to create a transfer order for an inbound delivery using LT03. So the we already have an inbound delivery in place. So I'm going into VL32N to check. This is the inbound delivery. So here you can say the overall put up status is A. Overall WM status is A. So we had one uh, transfer order which we have already cancelled. I just wanted to uh, show for the same inbound delivery. That's why I have cancelled the previously created transfer order. Now I uh, would be showing how to create a transfer order for this inbound delivery with respect to LT03. So I'm going into the transaction now. LT03 and here you can see warehouse number and the delivery it has already picked up. So I'm just going to press enter now. So you can see here it is only for one piece. So basically this is my storage uh, bin, temporary storage bin basically this is nothing but a dynamic storage bin. Uh, this is my purchase order number so on the basis of whatever the purchase order number B it will pick up this source storage bin. So I'm going to do a put away foreground. So it has picked up one one and uh, I'm just going to save this. That's it. So you can see the transfer order is created. So I'm going to see what changes has has this made to my inbound delivery. VL33N and uh, you can see here now this is like put away is completed and overall WM status is B now. That means open transfer order item is existing. So I can go and I can if I confirm this even this becomes C and after that I can click on the post goods receipt. So here you can see that there is an open transfer order for this particular inbound delivery. Now let's see what is the changes in the stock overview. So we have a stock here. So if I refresh this the expectation is that uh, here in 902 there should be one quantity less from the available stock it should become 99 and there should be one pick quantity and then in the 1000 BR quantity available here stock for put away there should be one quantity so let's see right so here you can see under 902 there is one pick and stock for put away there is like one put away now if I go into details you can see here this is my storage bin uh, my dynamic purchase order number so you can see here 5200010108 it has uh, been visible now and uh, it is having a negative quant and a positive quant that means one is for pick and then one is for put away here so um, if I go and if I confirm the transfer order then in that case this one and this one will vanish and this will become 1.165 all right so thank you for watching this video in the upcoming video we'll see how to do uh, how to uh, confirm the transfer order and how to post a goods receipt for an inbound delivery thank you for watching this video please do subscribe to our channel uh, so that we'll update you with the latest videos